Hello and welcome to the first part of the tutorial series where I'm going to be showing you how to port your Star Wars The Old Republic character into Battlefront 2. So I'm going to be trying to make a mod completely from scratch here with you guys, trying to help out new modders. A lot of people have been asking for a tutorial on this because I've done this with all eight of my main Star Wars The Old Republic characters. You can see one right here on my desktop. <laughs> this is my Imperial Agent. Uh, yeah, so in this one, I'm actually going to be doing like a skin for my Bounty Hunter because I've recently completed all the expansions in the game for him and his look has changed pretty drastically um, since the mod I made for him. So we're going to be doing that. So in this first part, we're just ripping the model from Star Wars World Republic and then in other videos, I will show you how to do all the other stuff. So for this first part, you only need three programs. You need Star Wars World Republic itself. Well, I guess you need four because you need Star Wars The Old Republic, Noasis, Ninja Ripper, and Blender. So, there is actually a Reddit post I will link in the description that will kind of detail this out in words for you in case you'd rather do that than watch the video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We need Ninja Ripper, so we're gonna head, going to go ahead and open that up. You need, uh, there are links in the Reddit post and the description for all these programs as well, by the way. So, Ninja Ripper, you want to go ahead and select your game uh, in the in your drive, so like right here, and then you're going to want to select an output directory, in which case I will I have already prepared a folder, my onslaught skin for my bounty hunter, which is the latest skin I have for him, and then boom, now we can run. So I've actually set up a hotkey to go ahead and rip models. So if I just open the game and I hit F10, it will load every model in the loaded area and it will put it into a folder for me, every model and texture. So that is what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and click run. And here we are in the menus. Apologies if the music is too loud or too quiet. I don't know. Don't usually mess with recording stuff. Anyway, this is the skin we're going to be modding in this episode. We're going to be putting this into Battlefront 2 uh, over Boba Fett. So... Let's go ahead and play him because we need it to be loaded. We're going to hit our key and then we're going to get all the models that we need. So it's best to do this like somewhere quiet, somewhere alone. On your ship probably is the best spot or in like a stronghold where there's not a lot of extra models floating around. Don't do this in the fleet otherwise you're going to get like 200 million people's uh, <laughs> 3D models and it's going to crash your computer. So here we are. We are alone right here. With our bounty hunter. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff loaded around us. Uh, our companions over there shouldn't be loaded in very much. So, yeah, this is going to be the highest uh, quality we can get. We can go ahead and pull out our weapons because we're going to need those as well. So, I'm just going to go ahead and hit F10 because that is my hotkey for it. And it is kind of paused the game. As you can see, I can't really move anymore. But that is because it is ripping every model and texture and putting it into that folder for me. And there we go. We are back. It is ripped, so I'll put that down. All right, I've closed out of the game. Now let's go into Noasis. I think that's how it's pronounced. Don't really know, don't really care. All right, the next step is Noasis. I've opened it up here. And now we want to navigate to the folder that we just exported everything into. So I put it into this folder, Onslaught Skin, here we go. And let's just open these up. Okay, it's in this folder right here. So now we have a lot of meshes and uh, texture files that we can look at here. So I'm going to sort it by size because it should be like the highest, one of the highest uh, size things that we're looking for here. So let's just open it up and boom, there we go. We already got our normal textures right here. It's uh, texture number two, so we'll keep that in mind. Texture number 106. We can cycle through these uh, invisible things. We can see the full color here. And that looks correct. Now we need the mesh, right? So let's go ahead and look through meshes. Oh, we found it already. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one should we use? Let's use this one. I'm going to use a dot .day. You can do FBX or object or whatever. I found that those have like weird bugs with the normal showing in Blender. Don't really know why. But there you go. So I'm going to do that and export. Because you need you need a a Blender add-on to import the dot day, and you don't need it for the FBX or object. Those are fine, but I'll I'll actually export 
like in an object or FBX actually, just so you can see. We're also going to export the textures as PNG images. So we also need to get our weapon out. Okay, so mesh 274, that's what we're looking for. Here it is. Now our weapon, in theory, should be around here. That's not it. Is that it? There it is. There is our gun, so go ahead and export that. Okay, that took me so much longer than I cared for it, but I finally found the gun textures. Alright, now that we've got all that, I'm going to go ahead and open up Blender, and we'll get started. So I think you need this dot .day add-on, I think. Not entirely certain. You can find it through Google, though. I believe in you. Anyway, FBX, we're going to need to just show you why not to use FBX, okay? So first of all, it's really tiny. Let's just scale it up here. It's a little, little better. Nope. We'll go 10. And as you can see, it is like shiny and weird. And I don't understand this at all, so I'm just going to delete it. And this is why we use that day. So let's go ahead and import the day and the day for the gun. There we go. So let's get the body. I'm going to scale this to 10, actually. And boom. So you see it's like a full model. It's the actual model itself. It does not have it does not have any textures on it just yet, but we will get there. First step pretty much done. So now we need to get the textures on here, which is going to be a little weird. But we're going to add a new material, add an image texture, and we want the body color. And we're gonna look at the this thing. <laughs> And it's going to be a little weird. Okay, actually, we're going to need another program. Hold on. You can use Photoshop, or I like to use GIMP for this. But we need to actually mess with the textures from the base game a little bit. Because, first of all, the UVs are flipped on these models for some reason. But they're only flipped on... Oop. Undo that, undo that. They're only flipped on the Y axis here. So we're going to set that to negative 1. And it is correct now. It's just a little dark, so which is what we're going to use GIMP to fix here. Alright, so we're going to components, decompose, RGBA, components, compose, RGB. And then it's just the color without the, the alpha there. And let's see if that works. Boom. All right. Now the color's in there. We don't have our, our texture our textures done yet, though. We'll be doing that in a later video where we will kind of finalize these, make this look a lot better. Uh, but for now, it's UV mapped. It looks good. And we'll do the same thing for the gun. And boom. There we go. We got our Star Wars Field Republic character here in Blender ready to be rigged and posed and all that fun stuff in the next tutorial. So thank you for watching this one. I uh, hope it was helpful to you. I'm not the best at tutorials, obviously, but I hope I uh, my knowledge here has been shared with you and you understand a little bit more about what you're doing. All right, I'll see you in the next episode.